first day in the Outer Banks was kind of a bust. It was cold, windy, and rainy. Really rainy. We made the best of it, so. State parks come in many shapes and sizes. But this one is unlike anything I've ever seen before. Just a short walk through maritime forest transports you to a vast desert landscape. More than 400 acres of dunes. And we have a local mom to thank for helping save it. See, back in 73, it was going to be bulldozed for more real estate. And that's when she quite literally stepped in. And now, it's one of North Carolina's most unique parks.
have to admit, I didn't know very much about the Wright brothers before this. I knew they flew here, but that's about it. and then somehow all the way out there. Yeah, that's their successful one minute flight. drawing board, living in a wooden shack with their glider for a roommate. It was not glamorous. But like the monument says, by dauntless resolution and unconquerable faith, they accomplished what no one else had done before. upside to visiting in the off season is having everything all to yourself. The downside, everything's closed. Well, maybe not everything. I didn't make it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Help, Mom. 
Your mother can't help you now. You've made I, your choice. My shoulders don't fit. Corolla, home of the wild horses. Majestically trotting down the beach. But there weren't any. So we took a little detour. So I want to take one of those little turns like into the into the town. Yeah. Just see what see what's going, going on. There. Now, there's just under a hundred. 